Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. All right, this week, we're going to talk about the latest DJI rumors, which involves speculation about the potential launch of the DJI Inspire 3. Then we'll talk about a French tourist who has been jailed in Iran for allegedly spying with a drone. And finally, yum yum, Domino's Pizza has teamed up with Skydrop to launch commercial drone delivery in New Zealand. Lucky Kiwis. All right, let's get into the stories. DJI recently sent a notice to its resellers in China announcing that it would be discontinuing the Inspire 2. In this translated leaked notice that was posted on Twitter, it states, once the current Inspire 2 inventory is sold out, new stock will not be provided for sale. Now, if this is true, this could happen fast, even as soon as this month. The Inspire 2 came out way back in the dinosaur ages of the commercial drone industry in 2016, and there have been rumors and speculation for years about when the Inspire 3 might come out, or frankly, if DJI even planned to make one. At the end of last year, we shared rumors that the Inspire 3 was anticipated for release in 2022, and this discontinuation of the Inspire 2 could be evidence that the rumor will end up being true. We will continue to update you. We will monitor the story as always as we learn more. Let us know in the comments what new features uh, you'd like to see in the Inspire 3. Next up, in May of 2020, a French man named Benjamin Briere was arrested by Iranian authorities near the Iranian border in Turkmenistan. The crime? Flying a drone in a prohibited area. Briere is a dual citizen in both Iran and France, and he was in the country on vacation at the time of his arrest. Now, more than a year and a half later, he has been convicted of spying and sentenced to eight years in prison with an additional eight months tacked onto his sentence for, quote, propaganda against the Iranian Islamic system, quote. According to France's foreign ministry, his conviction has no basis in fact and is unacceptable. Take this story as a sober reminder to be extremely cautious when traveling with your drone. It's important to be fully aware of all the drone laws in every place you travel to, both federal, uh, countrywide, or local. We have a long list of laws in and outside of the U.S. to help guide you, which we will link to below. Okay, lastly, Domino's Pizza has partnered with Flirty Inc., also known as Skydrop, to test delivering pizzas by drone in New Zealand. These tests will be the second stage of drone delivery testing for the two companies. Uh, in 2016, Flirty worked with New Zealand's Civil Aviation Authority and Ministry of Transport to conduct the first stage of these tests, by making a pizza delivery from a Domino's to a customer in Auckland, uh, New Zealand. The drone that made that delivery is now on display at the Auckland Museum of Transport and Technology. This second stage of testing will see more deliveries and may pave the way for a regular delivery program to begin before too long. I'm wondering what took so long between 2016 and 2022 to go from the single delivery to the multiple delivery rollout. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out links below uh, to read more information about each of these stories. Thanks so much for watching as always, uh, particularly if you're still watching uh, the, toward the end of the video. And to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.